Robert Erkins here. Yesterday was Clemson's big Military Appreciation Day slash Senior Day. It was our last home game at Death Valley for this season. So I want to start off by saying I appreciate my military. I appreciate what you do. I know you take criticism. I know people think you should do this different and you should do that. But you know what I like to say about people who's sitting on the sidelines critiquing? They probably ain't got the guts to do what you do. So thank you for what you do. I even extend that to our cops. I appreciate all you do. I know you catch a lot of heat. But it's easy, for once again, for people to sit there and type on at the comfort behind their, their Apple computer with their nice little cup of Java and, and, and look down the slope of their nose when they get that freedom because you give it to them. And uh, uh, fire a gun at them and, quite honestly, probably fill their pants full with that coffee they just drank. They paid way too much money for But I appreciate y'all, okay? What a way for Clemson to show their appreciation. They beat Citadel 61-3. to Now, I don't get how, how schools like the Citadel, Air Force, Navy, and Army run this 1940s offense. No offense. I know somebody right now is fuming. You're like, hey, it used to work. It used to work. Used to. Used to. Asbestos used to be good. Used to. And, and then they go and they run all their drills. Then they come and do their football thing. So, may. If maybe if somebody at one of these universities, one of these military schools would decide, hey guys, let's try to run a different offense. You might have more success, but I, I know somebody's fuming over it. I don't care about you. Go to another channel. It's a 1940s offense. I still believe one of the greatest teams they ever played was, and I'm not a Nebraska fan whatsoever, 1995 Nebraska. But they had the athletes to do it across the board. You could have got those boys to fart the ball out of their butt, and they'd somehow won the game. They were that incredible. I'm just saying, set, set, you, set yourself up for success, and guess what happened? You succeed. Clemson won 61 to 3. Proud of my boys. All three quarterbacks got to play yesterday. Uh, I, I, I know that I know that Citadel struggled this year. Though Citadel did one of the greatest things ever. Two years ago, they went to Williams Bryce and beat our fried chicken buddies down there. They beat them, and it was amazing. There were people who were actually going up to the top of Williams Bryce and jumping off the back. It was a wonderful day to be a Tiger and wonderful to be one of those ABC fans. Anybody but Carolina. It was wonderful. But they beat Citadel yesterday. And I appreciate the Citadel coming up here. And uh, uh, they lost. They didn't pull like a couple of weeks ago. We want to know what that computer was doing on the sideline. I would like an investigation into that. You got beat. There's your investigation. Go investigate why you got your tail handed to you and why half your team was stealing all our towels. I mean, I understand Black Friday's coming up. You can get you a good deal on rags. You can, you can have them sent in there and, and you can wash your butt crack or whatever you're doing with it. Shine some cars. Don't take ours. Lord. I mean, y'all got a billionaire up there funding uh, everything you do. Why don't you call him and say, hey, could you possibly get us some dish rags in here? Because we're still in Clemson's. All of them. Spilt milk. This week is a very serious time. First of all, it's Thanksgiving. It's the only time of the year when we can fight over who's going to pull dressing out of the butthole of a turkey. And then absolutely grin about it and be happy with ourselves. It's also a time that we get together with family members. And yes, Don, my brother-in-law, I know this week you're going to ask me to borrow some money, but just come in here for some Bobby time. You know that if you didn't continue to put dollar bills at the disposal of strippers, you would have money to feed your family. I know and yeah, my sister's going to murder you, Don. Anyway, I'm going to move on to next week. We face the Gamecocks. And I just looked it up. When Casino already, there, everybody else hadn't posted what they think Clemson's going to be favored by. But Wynn's already opened up with Clemson 
as a 14 point favorite. Now, I know people talk about, we're, we're a rivalry game, you gotta throw out everything. Well, when you consider that a lot of our, uh, a lot of our talent comes from Florida and the state of Georgia, I really don't think you have to throw out anything. I mean, used to, we had guys that, you know, and I know we got Feaster and we got Bryant and we got uh, Renfro, you know, they're from South Carolina. We got a few other South Carolina players. But you also have guys like Deion Kane that I'll guarantee you when he was in high school, he could give he could give two doo-doos worth about South Carolina and Clemson. Yeah, he liked Clemson. He ended up coming to, to school there, but he wasn't sitting there on the edge of his seat and begging God with everything he could if he had to choose between a miracle to raise his grandma from the dead or get Clemson to beat Carolina, I guarantee he wasn't sitting there praying over that. What's your point, Bobby? Glad you asked. If our coaches go in there and coach these boys up, and if our players go in there healthy and make good decisions, we beat these boys by 20. And we can all take that, we can all take that clip of Jake Bentley, God bless you and your family, where he said there's not that much difference between us and them, and we can replay that over and over and over as we beat them for a fourth year in a row. Oh, Bobby's back's hurting. Well, Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and give you a Thanksgiving gift. Later on this week, I'm going to do a preview of the Clemson Carolina game. Now, w one of the most well-known videos I've ever done was on my reaction to the Clemson Carolina game from last year. It got more views than any video I've ever done. More of you come to know the good news of Bobby Durkins just because of that video. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do a pre game video. Now, it's not going to be on Saturday. It's going to be earlier in the week sometime. I ain't, I'm not going to dedicate to a time because every now and again, I get to swim my head and have to lay down, and then my kids, they make me just want to go shoot myself. So, I'm not going to tell you what day I'm going to do it. So, so if, it's, if that pisses you off, you need to grow thick skin and become a kid. Like the Bible said, when I was young, I thought as a kid, but when I got older, I took that kid out back and shot him. I don't know if that's exactly how it was written, but that's the thought. Preview a couple of games quick, and then I'm going to go. Big games this week, Mississippi State and Mississippi. Mississippi State's going to win that game. Don't be surprised if that's Dan Mullen's last game in Mississippi uh, State. At least he plays a bowl game. Uh, for all of you out there who thinks Wisconsin's so good, so good, they had to knock, what, a third-string quarterback out to beat Michigan, <laughs> so good. I just hope that Wisconsin does get in. I hope they get in, and I hope they play Clemson first round, and I hope Clemson absolutely skins them boys. Sends those Badgers back to Camp Randall, begging God for help. Here's another team. They're undefeated. Nobody cares if they get in. University of Central Florida. I mean, I'd be ticked off. At least they've played a little better schedule or just as good a schedule as Wisconsin. Wisconsin plays Minnesota. Whew. Win for them. Game we should watch, Auburn, Alabama. But I will tell everybody, everybody's fired up about Auburn. Oh, Auburn. Listen, listen. Bama knows they're coming for them. And what do you think's going on with Bama? Bama's getting ready for them. I'm not sold on that one. Washington and Washington State. Two teams that people just been in love with, can't get enough of. But I've got my I've got my feel. I'm really, I'm 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 filled up to the brim and running over. I don't I don't uh, uh I don't care about that game. And then Notre Dame at number uh I can't remember what number they are and they're playing Stanford. Don't be surprised if Stanford wins this game and they have what, thirty losses? If some idiot wearing a tie on a sports show doesn't try to vibe for them to get in the playoff. Yeah, they need to fire those people on the spot and, and tell them we will not tolerate stupidity. This is Bobby Durkin saying, 
Right? Well, that's it. We won 61-3 to coming up against the Carolina Gamecocks. And I'm fired up. And I'm ready. And I believe that this week, Dabo Sweeney is going to eat more corn and more peanuts than he ever has in his life. And you say, why, Bobby? Because he's going to drive his tail down 26 to Columbia, South Carolina. And he's going to drop his drawers. And he's going to take a big old country-fied, steamy, peanut-filled dookie on the Gamecocks. Bobby Durkins.